Hey there, TRW crew, Matt Vassallo here with the rhinestoneworld.com. So this TRW Stone Wizard tutorial is going to go over our island fill feature on the TRW Stone Wizard. So I'm going to just show you two quick features. I'm not going to get too detailed with it as we'll have more videos that come out soon. This is just showing you what the actual button does. So let's say we have a text here and we're going to type out baseball real quick. And we want to do an island fill. Well, island fill is the same that we built in the program as like a contour fill. So what you can do is if we have our baseball right here, we're gonna do a one island fill to the outside and then this is the contour how far out we want it to go. So let's say we want it to go out 0 0.08. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit our island fill. And what that did is that created an island fill around this baseball right here. So right now it's just a clear island fill so you can't see it but once you click right there, see now you can see it perfectly. Easy way to always see your island fills is going to be in your wireframe. So if I were to delete this island fill and do it again, highlight, let's say we wanted a small island fill, we wanted to go 0 0.04, outside, island fill, there you go. So very cool with text. The great thing about doing uh, the island fills with text is you can as far as layering the heat transfer vinyl so if I switch my view back to our enhanced frame you can see when I pull this blue out it's separated from that red so it already does all that for you and then that way when you're layering your heat transfer vinyls they're gonna layer perfectly right on top of each other so very cool to be able to use with your vector designs but then we can also use it with our rhinestone designs as well and that's where the main feature is with the TRW stone wizard so let's say we just have a basic circle here and on this basic circle we want to add some emerald stones and if I leave this blank it's just going to stay at our zero there and go to the inside if I leave it blank to the inside it's going to fill in all the way to the inside a complete island fill so I'm going to add stones well I'll show you it without adding stones first so let's go no add stones I'm going to go 0.13 contour spacing island fill please select the object to island fill. So I'm going to select this one, island fill, and there you go. So that is without doing, and the cool thing about doing it like that is you could, if you wanted to add some emerald stones to it, then you can come back here and add some, let's say jet black, and you could add those stones to it. So you can see it's going to add all the different color stones to it. So let's go ahead and undo, undo, undo these. And there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do an island fill and add all the stones in it. So we're going to go ahead and do this one in orange. Click on our object. We got a 5x5 five five circle here. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit smaller. And we will go ahead and do an island fill, leaving it blank. So it's going to fill all the way to the inside at 0.13 contour offset. So I'm going to hit island fill. Oh. I forgot to hit my add stones. I'm going to add stones, island fill, and there you go. So as you can see, a perfect spacing all the way through with this island fill. Obviously, there was no way to fit more in there, so that's why it created one right in the middle there. Now let's go ahead and undo, undo those. Now I'm going to show you how you can do it real quick with a multi-deck design. So if we had, let's go to our basic shape tool here and let's grab a heart real quick we're going to draw a heart right here and let's say this heart is a nice pink heart and then on this pink heart we want an outline of some black rhinestones okay very easy to do here let's just go to our island fills we're going to do a two outline whatever you want you could do one outline eight outlines anything you want we're going to do a two outline to the outside at 0.3 and island fill and look at that perfect now here's where you can also make some changes see right here on the bottom where those two are touching you can do it in one of two ways you can click on it and add stones so see how the stones are moving that's adding stones which is decreasing the spacing or subtracting stones which is decreasing the spacing but then you're also getting a perfect point at the bottom there but then the other thing you can also do is if I deleted both of these highlight it I hit corner detect and then do my island fill now you can see it's always going to hit it perfect there same thing up here it's always going to hit it perfect 
So that's our island fill feature, some very basic features with the island fill um, option in the TRW Stone Wizard. Of course, if you do have any questions, make sure to give us a call. Number is 941-755-1696. Again, this is Matt with the rhinestoneworld.com, and you guys have a great day.